and welcome to another tutorial. In today's lesson, we'll learn how to recreate this cool looking particle text reveal effect using Adobe After Effects. So anyways, guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that we have to do here is we have to download some text. Now I've just gone to freepick.com and I've downloaded this asset from Cosmo Studio. You can follow along with the link in the description. And once you have it, open it up in Photoshop. Now, all you have to do here is just separate the text from the background. And once you've done that, then what you can do is you can go to file export and make sure you export this as a transparent PNG. So once you've got all that, then what you can do is you can go into After Effects. So here we are in After Effects and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new composition 1920 by 1080 pixels at, a, at 30 FPS at a duration of about 10 to 15 seconds. Just press OK. Once you've got that, the next thing that we need to do is we need to create a new solid and I'm just going to call this BG. Don't worry about the color because we're going to add gradient ramp on here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to color hunt and choose my colors. So I want these two sets of colors. So I'm going to put them into my gradient ramp. Cool. So now that I have the colors in there, I'm going to change it to a radial ramp. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap the colors. So now what I need to do is I just need to change the point of where this radial ramp begins and I'm also going to change this point over there just so I have a vignette around the outside. Now, that looks pretty good to me. So now what I need to do is I need to import my graphic. So all I need to do for that is just go to file import. So here's my graphic and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it in there and I'm just going to press S for scale just to scale it down slightly maybe something like that and now what we need to do is we need to create a linear wipe transition on that so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to change the wipe angle to 270 and then i'm going to hit that stopwatch for transition completion i'm going to move forward in time to roughly around about seven seconds and hit 100 percent and so now if you've done that correctly now you will have this cool linear wipe transition it goes from right to left. Now, if that's too fast or too slow, you can press U and you can move this uh, keyframe around. But once we have that, the next thing that we need to do is we need to change the feather. So I'm just gonna bump that up to, let's say 50 to make that a little bit softer. So once we've got that, the next thing that we need to do is we need to duplicate that layer. Now, once we've duplicated the layer, I'm just gonna get rid of the linear wipe because we don't need it on that top layer. But what I am gonna do is I'm gonna create a mask. So I need to make sure that I've selected that layer and then I can click on this um, icon over here to create a rectangle mask. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down to the mask path. So I'm gonna click on it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move forward in time to seven seconds. So if you press U, you will see all of your keyframes. So I know that that is where my previous keyframe ends. So I'm gonna go back to my mask path and I'm just gonna hold, uh, press V for the selection tool. Click on it and hold shift and drag it to the other side until it is no longer visible. And now I've got a mask that will go with the transition wipe. So that's looking pretty cool. And now what we need to do is we need to add the particles to it. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we are going to click on that layer and then we're gonna go to layer pre-compose and I'm just gonna call this uh, logo mask and I'm gonna move all the attributes. Now that I have that, the next thing that we need to do is we need to create a new uh, solid and I'm just gonna call this particles. And obviously I am going to search for the effect called Particular. So just a reminder that Particular is a paid plugin from Red Giant. So if you do not have it, please go and download the free trial before continuing on with this tutorial. So now that we have it, what we can do is we can go to toggle switches, make sure that that logo mask is a 3D layer. So if you don't see this, then make sure you go to toggle switches and then you can turn the eye off for that because you don't really need it now. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we are going to change the emitter type to layer. And once we've done that, then it opens up the layer emitter options. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna set it to our mask. So now the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna bump up these particles per second. So we're probably gonna bump it up to, let's say maybe 300,000. So that's three with five zeros. And you can see what's happening over here. These are all the particles that are coming out of that. You can definitely play around with that setting, but we'll just leave it 
as that. The next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna change the velocity. We're gonna set that to 50. And then what we are going to do is we're gonna move down to particle and we're gonna change a few things here. We're gonna change the life in seconds to 1.5. We're gonna change the life random to 100%. We're gonna change the particle type to cloudlet. We're gonna change the feather to zero. We're gonna change the size random to 100. And then if we drop down on the size over life, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick uh, this preset and then just press okay. And so now you can see what's actually happening here. So now you've got this cool kind of, you know, meshing of the particles and the text. And that's looking pretty cool, but we can make it look even better. So the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go down to opacity over life and we are going to pick that same preset. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the environment settings. And if we go into the air turbulence settings, now we can change a few things. So we're gonna put effect position to let's say 200. And we're gonna go with move with wind with up to 20%. We can leave everything else the same, but if you wanna experiment with some of these settings, you can. And so the final thing we're gonna do down here is we're gonna go down to rendering. We're gonna open up the motion blur settings. And what we are going to do is we are going to turn them to on. So there will be some motion blur happening there. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna have a look at the timing of the animation. And if you need to adjust any of the times, you can go into your pre-comp, you can press U, and then you can adjust the times accordingly. For example, if you need to nudge the uh, keyframes, you know, um, a little bit over, you can also do that. So now I have the layer mask and the particles, you know, a bit better meshed together. So what we need to do is we need to duplicate those particles. So I'm just gonna press Command D to duplicate it and I'm just gonna put it underneath our logo. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to increase the particles per size to let's say 100,000. So that's uh, one and five zeros. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down to velocity and I'm gonna change it to 500. So now that's looking pretty cool. So what we can do is we can go back to our particles and we can look for an effect called sharpen. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna bump up that sharpen amount. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down to the bottom particles layer and I'm also going to put sharpen on here too and we'll just up that to about three. Now on this bottom layer, another effect that we can add in here is going to be glow. So if I just search for glow, you can find it there. And we're just gonna change some of these settings here. So I'm gonna change the threshold to 80. I'm gonna change the glow radius to 60. And I'm going to change the glow intensity to 1.5. And you can also add glow to the other particles layer. And the final thing that I'm gonna do to tie everything together is I'm gonna add a new adjustment layer. And I'm just gonna make sure that it's right at the top. And I'm just gonna add some noise. And I'll probably add around 8% noise. And now we have a completed animation. So here we have a cool effect, you know, that combines the particles and the text. And I think it looks pretty nice. So anyways, guys, that's about it for this quick and short tutorial on how to create particle text using Adobe After Effects in particular. Anyways, guys, I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.